Hello class, today we'll be unboxing the Wombot XLSXL 3D printer from Aurorum. Check her out. Surprise, surprise, it's already done. Very sorry, <laughs> had some complications. Just a quick recap, you didn't miss much. Packing peanuts inside the box, now everywhere. Printer comes out just like that. It has a styrofoam sheeting on the bed with extruder press against it and you have to lift the head using the lead screws or the LCD. Take that out. Uh, to hook the LCD up you have a little bolt on top you just mount it to the top and then on the back there are two little plugs. They plug right in. You may notice my number two is plugged into my number one. Uh, more on that in a moment and then the filament roll spool holder is the only other thing that this comes not complete with it is 97% or more complete um, and this is the XLSXL 3d printer um, so I had a few issues one of the biggest ones was when I first plugged it in I couldn't get my LCD to come on it wouldn't show me any digital display it would just light up blue so I got back and forth with Oramus and he let me know that the cables are probably backwards. I thought of that, but I'm a newbie. I've never used, owned, or even touched a 3D printer. So I was a little nervous to just start switching stuff around. And sure enough, lo and behold, I switched them and it, the LCD came on and things started working okay. Then it comes to, well, digitally. Then it came to trying, now again, being a newbie, I had a little trouble getting the filament in at first and getting the adjustment screw right where it should be finally kind of figured that out um, but then I, I was still having some issues uh, as you can see now I'm finally printing here is rocket in action in black PLA this is a completed rocket in black PLA and a partial bender in green PLA I uh, just didn't have enough green filament so I wasn't sure I just I tried the print just to compare to the blue one that came in the box and they send you a test print too here it was this came with it just to show so I tried to print a green one to compare and the base actually compares somewhat nicely that I considered the green was my first successful print with the settings right like and the black one was really my first complete uh, print that little rocket um, so my first probably half a dozen print attempts failed miserably and biggest reasons uh, that I could conclude most likely uh, again I'm a newbie so it was probably all my fault but I had to play with the settings a little bit like once I finally got the filament in and the adjustment screw right I could get flow but I couldn't get adhesion and I couldn't get good layer adhesion and I, and I was having this sporadic flow and so I noticed in the settings uh, there's under control for the filament you can change it from a diameter extrude uh, measurement to a volumetric extruding measurement and mine was set on to volumetric and once I turned it off I started getting very nice results. In fact, that was what basically led to my first couple prints. Um, I don't know if that came pre. It now it's on every time I start a print from the SD that came with it. But again, I was playing with the settings when I first got the LCD on, and I may have accidentally adjust set that myself. That may not be from them or their settings, um, because the printer definitely isn't calibrated to print in the volumetric setting. Because when it's on, it just fails miserably, and when it's on the diameter one, it, as you can see, it prints nicely. And that was the biggest fact. The other things I had to do slightly, I had to adjust the temperature of the nozzle up about 10 to 15 degrees and the bed up about 10. Um, the bed I'm a little less concerned about. My flow rate was the, was the biggest issue and I think bumping that up a little bit definitely helped. But now that I fixed the, the volumetric setting, I think I could definitely turn it back to 190 and probably success. But the other big thing that I really had to keep off was I have to set the fan down to almost nothing. If you take a look right here, um, I'm a little hotter, but also the fans at 10% because if I anything above 50% and I get pretty poor adhesion And again, that's probably me not having my settings somehow tuned right um, Because I, I'm a total rookie, but you know, we're I'm gonna keep playing with it and hopefully find the sweet spot That just seems to my I've been you know I'm in a different environment too from where they are You know it might be a little warmer and drier there and cooler up here So I need a higher temperature. I am in North America they saw a printer came from Australia, so, you know, when they printed it, it was probably hotter there or something. Um, 
But either way, uh, as you can see now, I'm finally getting some good results. One of the biggest reasons, uh, some of the biggest reasons I picked this printer was, you know, it was, it, it probably had about 95% of the features that I was really interested in. You know, um, this is my first printer and I wanted to get one now and spend a few months trying to get good at it. You know, the, I like, I like the ease of the open RepRap style printer. You know, one of my favorite ones that I really wanted was a Taz, but they are obviously, they're three times the price of this printer. Um, they have comparable build volumes and the Taz is a nicer extruder setup, but you know, this one does extrude most filament types and you know, when tuned produces a nice result. Um, I got to say some of the, the shout, I got to give a couple shout outs to the 3d printing nerd and to the hot end, you know, watching a lot of their videos, uh, Joel's review on this plus, the hot end, a lot of uh, just consecutive great um, time lapse videos that really showed me this is a durable printer, you know, and and most likely can be long lasting, which is something I'm looking for as well. Uh, I also I was originally attracted to the Z axis, the, the raise, you know, the bed raise beds uh, printers, but I'm not that skilled, and I was a little more about an enclosed one. I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to get in and play with it or fix it if something goes wrong. This is everything's nice and open and, and out, and you know I can if something if the lead screw is off or whatever if something goes wrong, it'll be probably easier to repair. Um, so that was probably the biggest again the biggest reason why I would this. It did take about three to four weeks to get it. They did they did advertise it would be at least a, like a three week lead time, so I was prepared for that. Um, but they were great that with responses both when I bought it and after I received it and needed some advice getting it going, Ormus was quick to get back to me. So I definitely recommend this and the company. Um, I can't really give an honest comparison review of this. I've only done a couple of prints. Maybe in the future I can give a bit of a review, but I have no experience with other printers, so it's hard to compare, you know what I mean, but at least give what my results coming up. I have some more filament coming this weekend, uh, so stay tuned. I have more time lapses planned and maybe some more videos. In the near future, I am going to get uh, Simplify 3D, um, the hot end's got a great video on how you can, cause I plan on doing larger prints with this one and he you know, has a great video on how you can save time and plastic, you know, using infill percentages and, and settings in simplify 3d that don't seem to be available on the other free softwares currently. So, um, I also have right here a dual extruder setup I have yet to install. I uh, wanted to get this going, get the settings, play with it a little bit. Uh, stay tuned for that probably in the coming months. When I have time and uh, I will also need to get some outside help on that because I have never soldered wires so that will be a new experience for me um, and I'll hopefully be able to make a video on that so you can see that in case anyone else is interested in doing that to their Wombot. Um, uh, other than that you know stay tuned thanks for watching and have a good one.